Hi, I'm Nicole, and here with me today is Deliana, and we're from HSA Lorraine. Here today, we're going to present. First off, you're going to want to grab the bottle and you're going to want to put some of the petroleum jelly around the rim. And once you're done putting the wet petroleum jelly around the bottle, you're going to grab the syringe and place it in 10 milliliters. Once that is done, you're going to grab the rubber stopper and you're going to put it on the lid. Then place it carefully inside the bottle. And you're going to close that shut. And then you're going to take off the tire valve's lid. Now for this part, you're going to need assistance. So. As you can tell, the syringe is moving, and that is because as she's pumping the air in, the air molecules are pushing down on the syringe, causing it to move. Now what you're going to want to do is do this as fast as you can to try to get all the air and measure it. As you can tell, the air inside the bottle is 15 PSI. The purpose for this experiment was to measure the relationship between the volume of air and pressure of air. As some of the excess pressure within the bottle is then released, the volume of the trapped air inside the syringe will change. That's all for this experiment. Thank you for watching.